Hello, I'm Dr. Grace Elta, President of the American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. The ASGE represents 10,000 physicians dedicated to improving digestive health through excellence in endoscopy. Raising awareness among patients about digestive diseases, including colorectal cancer, is one of our highest priorities. In the following video, you will see myths about colorectal cancer and hear from one of our ASGE experts the true facts about colorectal cancer. Please listen carefully to the video. We want you to remember that colorectal cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable. Colorectal cancer, often referred to as colon cancer, is the second leading cancer killer among men and women in the U.S. According to the American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, it is largely preventable with regular screening and is curable with early detection. Each year, more than 150,000 people are diagnosed with colon cancer in the U.S., and over 50,000 people die from it annually. Let's explore some myths about colon cancer and the facts you need to know. Is colon cancer only a man's disease? Yeah, I think it's mostly men. Men usually get it. Colon cancer affects both men and women. In fact, about 26,000 women in this country die of colon cancer every year. It does not discriminate against your gender or your race. But your age is the single most important risk factor for developing colorectal cancer. So both men and women should be screened for colorectal cancer starting at age 50. And most insurance companies will cover the cost of a screening colonoscopy. If you are 65 years of age or older, Medicare will cover the cost of the procedure. And often you don't even need a referral to have the procedure done. Do you think it's important to get screened for colon cancer if you have regular bowel movements and you're feeling okay? Well, I suppose if you wanted to be really fussy, you would go. But I don't go anywhere unless I'm not, you know, if I'm feeling fine, I stay away from all the medics. So I would only go if I had a problem. Colon cancer is a silent killer. Usually there are no symptoms to rely on. And when there are symptoms, the cancer may be at an advanced stage. When caught early, however, most patients are cured. But when colon cancer is detected at later stages, the chances of cure are very low. There are some warning signs that may indicate colon cancer, and they include things like blood in your stool, change in the caliber or the narrowness of your stools, unexplained abdominal pain, a change in your bowel patterns, unexplained anemia, or weight loss which can't be explained. Now these symptoms may be caused by many benign conditions such as hemorrhoids which can cause bleeding, inflammation of the colon, or even irritable bowel syndrome which is quite common. However, if you have any of these symptoms, you should be evaluated by your doctor. Is there anything you can do to change your risk of colon cancer? Well, there are certain behaviors that can increase or decrease your risk of colorectal cancer. Activities that can increase your risk include consuming a high-fat diet, smoking, and using alcohol in excess. You can decrease your risk of colon cancer by maintaining a regular exercise program and participating in a healthy, balanced diet containing certain vitamins and minerals. But there's no substitution for getting screened. Starting at age 50, everyone should have a colonoscopy to screen for colon cancer, regardless of your lifestyle. A colonoscopy allows for the detection and the removal of benign polyps before they become a colon cancer. Some individuals with a family history of colon cancer or certain GI diseases may be at increased risk for colon cancer before the age of 50. Those people should discuss this with their doctor and possibly have screening earlier than age 50. If someone has been diagnosed with colon cancer, do you think it's too late for them to do anything about it? Yeah, I think so. I haven't heard of any cures for colon cancer. Actually, colon cancer is a preventable and a highly treatable cancer when it's caught at an early stage. A recent study by leading cancer groups showed a nearly 5% decline in colorectal cancer deaths in this country.
And a key factor in the decline was prevention through screening and removal of precancerous polyps. People who are diagnosed at an early stage have over 90% chance of cure and surviving. However, people who have an advanced stage of colorectal cancer at diagnosis have a much lower chance of cure. In fact, less than 10% of these people will be alive in five years. This is a preventable cancer, and it's curable when it's caught at an early stage. So don't delay. If you are 50 years of age or older, or if you have symptoms that are worrisome for colon cancer, get screened and get screened for colon cancer today. Do you need to get screened for colon cancer if there is no family history of colon cancer? Uh, if there's no family history of colon cancer, I don't see a reason for getting screened because it's usually something to do with family history from what I understand. Well, only 10 to 20% of people who have colon cancer have a family member with the disease. And you can still get colon cancer even if no one in your family has ever had it. The American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy recommends having your first colonoscopy screening test starting at age 50 and repeating every 10 years. If you have a family history of colon cancer, however, you might need to start screening before the age of 50. So consult your doctor about an appropriate screening schedule. To learn more about this disease and to find a qualified physician in your area, visit www.screenforcoloncancer.org. Hello again. I hope this information has increased what you know about colorectal cancer and the importance of getting screened for this highly preventable and treatable disease. The American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy is a group of 10,000 physicians who are expertly trained in endoscopic procedures, including colonoscopy. As president of the ASGE, I encourage you to get screened for colorectal cancer if you are age 50 or older, or if you have any worrisome symptoms of colorectal cancer. Colonoscopy is a safe, effective, and well-tolerated procedure. Colonoscopy performed for colorectal cancer screening can save your life. Please visit www screenforcoloncancer.org for more information. On this site, you can also find an ASGE physician in your area.